kupata fedha tele na manufaa zaidi katika nyanja hii ya kilimo ni vema mkulima akizingatia kilimo biashara na si kilimo cha tumbo tu kuongeza dhamana ni njia moja wapo ya kufaidi pakubwa katika nyanja hii basi kama mnavyoona leo tuko katika kitengo cha food science katika chuo kikuu cha JQT tuelimishwe barabara jinsi ya kuongeza dhamana na ni bidhaa zipi shambani zinazoweza kuongezwa dhamana karibu maabara ya JQT ujione kilimo biashara ni chenye faida tele ikilinganishwa na kilimo cha tumbo tu baada ya kuvuna Mkulima hutabasamu akiona fedha alizopata lakini ili kupata hela tele kuongeza dhamana husaidia. Kila mwaka chuo kikuu cha Jaikwat huwafunza vikundi vya kina mama kutoka sehemu mbalimbali mbali, jinsi ya kuongeza dhamana. Sisi huwa tunafunza vile kuhifadhi vyakula, vile tunaweza tengeneza new products ya vyakula and the way we can add value to agricultural produce and uh, uh, livestock prod, prod, produce. Lengo lao ni kwamba si akina mama hawa tu wanufaike bali pia jamii kwa jumla. Basi baada ya kufunzwa ni jukumu lao pia la kuwafunza wenzao. Huu ni mradi mzuri na sababu iliyofanya chuo hiki kuanzisha mradi huu ulikuwa moja. Kwa sababu tumegundua kwamba our farmers are getting a raw deal because they are selling their produce raw yet they can make more money if they just do a bit of uh, processing or value addition to the to their to their products for example you you find that uh, if you go to the farm and harvest your potatoes for example and then you just put them in a in a bag and sell and somebody else will have, uh, harvest their with their potatoes and clean them and put them in a bag. The one who has just cleaned them who fetch more money than one who has who is just uh, gotten them from the soil and sold them. So these are just uh, value addition is just simple methods that we train uh, our farmers and entrepreneurs to use so that they can add they can earn more from their produce. He wiki akina mama hawa wamefunzwa jinsi ya kuongeza bidhaa tofauti tofauti dhamana. Kwa mfano tomato vile unajua nyanya ni mmea mmoja mbaya ikishaku ukiwa tayari umekuwa tayari and within one week umeharibika lakini tumewaonyesha kutengeza products kama tomato sauce ambazo zinaweza kaa kwa muda moja kwa mwaka moja. matunda huwa ya msimu na si kila msimu utapata matunda yote unayohitaji lakini iwapo tunda fulani liliongezwa dhamani wakati lilipokuwa linapatikana basi litapatikana kila wakati si hayo tu pia tumewafunza vile wanaweza kutengeza sausages za kuku na kitu tunaita meatloaf kutoka kwa nyama ya kuku because unajua kuna wakulima wa wengi sana siku hizi wanafuga kuku so and uh, utapata ya kwamba they are getting uh, very minimal uh, minimal profit kwa sababu ya maybe gharama za feeds na kadhalika So tungepo tunataka kuwafunza jeans vile wanaweza pia kuongeza value waweze kuongeza ma, eh, profit yao. Huenda kama tu vile mimi unajiuliza mbona huu mradi ni wawake peke yao kwani waume hawazingatii kilimo ama wanajua mengi kuhusu kilimo biashara. Kulingana na watafiti wa chuo hiki waligundua hili. Uh, hii program ilikuwa ya zamani ilikuwa ya wa, wanaume na wanawake. Lakini tulikuja tukagundua kwamba wale watu ambao wanafuatilia wakati tulifanya monitoring and evaluation tulipata ya kwamba wamama ndo walikuwa wameimpress hizi technologies so tukaona wacha tu kwanza to deal na wamama we we'll deal with the with the men later when we find out why they and why they were not embracing the, the technologies ili ustahili kualikwa kwa ajili ya mafunzo haya ya kuongeza dhamana lazima kwanza uwe mkulima mwenye amejiunga na kikundi fulani cha kilimo na uwe umehitimu kutoka kidato cha nne. ni kuambiwa kwamba zile products ambazo hawezi kuuza fresh watafute wa, wa jinsi tuna wanaweza ku add value kwa vitu hivyo hata zile ambazo wanauza fresh watafute vile wanaweza ku add value hata kama ni cleaning hata kama ni kupanguza 
ndio ziweze kufetch higher value higher 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 profit kutengeza majitamu ama pineapple juice kimombo ni rahisi sana kutengeneza pineapple juice uh, nita need pineapple uh, for the fruit kisha nitahitaji uh, sukari na nitahitaji citric acid ambayo ina neutralize the taste of the fruit na nilikundua kwamba kutengeneza sio ngumu unahitaji tu moto una kwanza utaosha tunda ukishaosha zile tunda uta sterilize ama utasafisha mali ambapo utakuwa unafanyia kazi ni muhimu sana ndio kwa usafi tunasema usafi ni muhimu kila mahali mpaka kwa kuhandle chakula and then after kuosha tunakatakata lile tunapili ile tunda tunakatakata alafu tunasaga tukisha saga tukisha toa ile juice kwa ile matunda tunawekelea kwa jiko tukishaweka kwa jiko kuna ile kiasi tutaweka ya sukari na pia tutaweka citric acid tutakoroga ikisha iva tutaweka for some kwa muda mchache kisha ikisha poa tunapack Pima hali joto kabla ya kuitoa motoni halafu uchuje ili utoe uchafu wowote ule kabla ya kuiacha ipoe. Baada ya kujifunza hayo yote, Helen alikuwa na mwito huu kwa wakulima haswa wa eneo lake. Ninge advice wa kulima wa kuze kwa wingi ndizi kisha zile ndizi wakituletea kwa society waangalie the quality. Tutafanya value addition ya ndizi tutengeneze banana jam kwa sababu nimesoma kutengeneza banana jam pia nimesoma kuwa naweza tengeneza ba, nini banana crisps kutoka tu kwa lile nina ile ndizi na pia tunaweza tengeneza banana juice na pia kwa wamama wenzangu ningewahimiza mtie bidii katika mashamba yetu tuache kuachilia tu mashamba tini ya wanaume hata sisi tuko na uwezo wa kujinua kimaisha Umejionea kwamba usafi ni muhimu iwe unapika jikoni au kwenye maabara. Kwanza osha vifaa vyako unazotaka kuzitumia kisha mahali unapotaka kupatumia. Kabla ya kuosha matunda yako kisha kuyakatakata. Iwapo wewe ni mkulima mdogo, pengine umeshtuka ile mashine ya kukamulia matunda utaipata vipi? Usijali. Iwapo una blender unaweza kuitumia pia. Wasimie wacha nitafute mkate kisha nipake siagi yangu ya paipai. Usibanduke kwa nitarejea ipi punde na mengi.